Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, minimum number of changes to make binary string beautiful. So imagine we're given a string with a bunch of zeros and ones that looks like this. A beautiful string is one that can be partitioned into even length substrings. So for example, this is even and it's a substring because it's continuous. We could also do a substring like this one or of length six or of length eight. Etc. And for each of these substrings, we want to say, and by the way, the length of the input string is always going to be even. So imagine that it looks like this one. The previous one of length seven is invalid. But we could break this up, let's say, into substrings that look like this. And what we want is for every one of these substrings to have the same value. So this one should be all zeros. This one should either be all zeros or all ones. And this one is also all zeros. Now for this one, we could change the zero into a one or we could change the other three ones into zeros. We're gonna prefer to do it this way because that requires only one swap, one change. And what we wanna do is minimize the total number of changes that we have to perform in order to make the string beautiful into a state such as this. So there's multiple ways to think about this problem. That's what I'm gonna walk you through, and then you're gonna realize once you kind of start analyzing the problem and making some observations, the problem actually becomes very, very simple. You might already know how to solve it. So in this example, when we got here, this is of length two, and so far it's all zeros. So we don't need to do anything. Not only that, but we can basically say that we don't ever need to consider this portion of the string again. So how can we kind of keep track of that? Well, one way would be to do sort of a two pointer slash sliding window approach. We have two pointers. One is the left pointer and one is the right pointer. By shifting the right pointer here, we see that, okay, so far the window is size two. It's both zeros. So we can kind of eliminate this portion of the string. The way to do that would probably be just by taking the left pointer and then shifting it. But it's possible that this streak actually is going to continue. Maybe the next few are also gonna be zero. So actually we don't need to do any shifting just yet. We can keep shifting the right pointer. The left pointer can stay as is because our window is pretty much increasing. And eventually we are gonna get to a spot like this one. By the time we get the right pointer here, we will compare these two characters and see that they're different. So we get to a point where we kind of need to perform a swap. But notice that this part is of size two. So this is the third character. So this is not a substring like of even length. This one is of size three. This one by itself is of size one. This one is never really going to be included with what we had before. So if you go down this line of thinking, you'll eventually arrive at a solution where you realize you only need to check that the even characters, like the second character of every pair, is different from the one over here. The solution is going to work like this. We have the two pointers. We eventually get here. We see that this is size three. This is not an even position. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pointer and then shift it. So now left pointer is over here. So far, the result, which is the number of swaps, is still at zero. We have not swapped this one because we actually did not need to. Because this is an odd position, it actually does not need to be associated with this subarray at all. And so this is kind of a hint at the next solution I'm going to be showing you. But continuing with this one for a second, now we're going to shift our right pointer one more time. Right pointer is over here. These two characters now, once again, we're going to compare the characters at these two positions. They are different. And since this is actually an even position now, we know that these two characters, they have to belong to the same subarray, and thus we will have to perform a swap. Now, which one of these should we swap? Does it really matter? Not really. One swap is gonna turn this into two zeros or one swap is gonna turn it into two ones. Whether we make them two ones or two zeros, it does not matter because this subarray of size two is independent of all the other subarrays. Whether we have two ones over here or two zeros over here, it does not matter. So uh, we perform that swap and then we continue. We shift uh, the right pointer. Well, the left pointer will be shifted over here now where the right pointer was and the right pointer will continue and we'll keep going like this. Eventually these two pointers will be here. Same characters. We will shift over here. It's an odd position and then we'll be here and here. And so the only swap we'll, we will have performed is this one. 
I'm gonna quickly code up the solution for this, and then we'll get into the slightly more simple solution. By the way, if you're preparing for coding interviews and don't already know about Neatcode.io, definitely consider checking it out, making some nice improvements to it recently. Like for every single one of the Neatcode 150 problems, we've gone ahead and added pretty much every single solution for each problem, like every kind of solution that there is. So I think you guys will find this helpful. Okay, so coding this up with that two pointer approach that I was talking about, we'll have that left pointer initially start at zero. We will declare our result, which will keep track of the count, like the swaps that we perform. That's what we're going to return. And then we're gonna go through the input string like this. And the main thing that we're looking for is that these two characters are different. The character at the right and left positions are different. If they're the same, we really don't do anything Thing. We don't really need to increment the length of the window because the fact that we have the two pointers already gives us the length of the window and the length is pretty irrelevant anyway. We just compare the two values because they're like the endpoints of our window. Now, within here, if these two characters are different, we definitely want to update the window because we want the window to only have the same character. So the left pointer should be shifted to where the right pointer is at. But there's actually one more thing we might do before that. If the window is of size even, or we could even just check the right position. If the right modded by two is equal to one, I believe, and we could also write it like this, or anded with one, because we want it to end at an odd index, because imagine you have something like this, uh, zero, one, two, three, these are the indexes. This we see is of even length, it ends at one, that's odd. Same thing here, this ends at three, that index, that's like an even position. So that's why we're doing it that way. And if that's the case, that means that these two are different characters and it's ending at an even index. And so we have to perform a swap so we can increment that by one. So this is the solution I was showing you earlier. You can see it works. It is pretty efficient despite what this says, but there is a more simple approach. The solution I showed you a second ago Conceptually, it seems a bit more complicated than it needs to be, and that's because it actually is. When you look at why this solution is working in the first place, the whole concept of having like a streak and having a window with all characters that are the same, and the fact that we actually didn't need the length of the window in the result, you realize it's because we're only looking at elements pair by pair. That's why we always stop at an even position. And that's why we check like if that one was different than the previous ones at like an even position, it matters because we can compare it with the previous uh, character, but at an odd position, it doesn't because this one does not belong to this group. So we only need to look at groups two by two. And whether we have like a group that looks like this, and we ask, well, which character should we change this to? Should we change this to a zero or should we change it to a one? I'm here to tell you that this problem can be solved easily and optimally when you realize it does not matter which character we change that to. Whether we change this to a zero or a one, it does not matter because we always have the choice. We could change this, sure, to a zero or a one, but we could also change this to a one. We would not change this to a one, by the way. Sorry, I got mixed up. Basically, I'm saying we could either change this to a zero, zero or a one, one. Knowing that, how do you solve the problem? Well, we can simplify this to a one pointer approach. Let's call that index I, and we will always compare this with the next position. And we'll look at these two. Are they the same? Yep. So then we shift to the next pair. Are these the same? No. So we have to perform a swap and thus we increment by one. We check these two. Are they the same? Yep. These two, are they the same? Yep. And we would keep going just like that. So it's sort of a sliding window of size two if you think about it, but I don't think that really matters. This approach is also gonna be a linear time approach. We're just going through the input and it's going to be constant space. It's just a bit more simple conceptually, I think. Okay, so taking this approach and updating it, we can get rid of this pointer, uh, the left pointer, and we'll change the right pointer to I. And we'll start at the beginning and we'll this time shift the pointer by two each time. So I'll change the increment to two here and start at the beginning of the range. And now we will compare the character at index i with the character at i plus one. If they are different, we should increment the result and that's pretty much it. We don't need to do any fancy pointer manipulation, just increment the result by one. Let's give this a run and you can see it works and it is more efficient, I guess, 
but these are pretty random. I don't really pay attention to them. If you found this helpful, check out Neatcode.io for more. Got a lot of cool courses coming and a lot that are already added. And there is a sale on the lifetime plan going right now if you are interested in that.